Do you think that this is a battle between those who view voting as a right versus those who view voting as a privilege? Yes. Um, I think, you know, when you look at the underpinnings of the argument around voter ID, there is this question at the heart of it about whether voting is a right or a privilege. And we're going to have to really have that conversation in this country. There are those who say that, in fact, poor people should not vote. Young people should not vote because maybe they don't know anything yet. They really believe that certain people should not be on the rolls and should not be making decisions about who gets to represent us. And we as a country are going to have to figure out what does it mean to have a democracy? What does it mean to have full participation? Why shouldn't we be making voting easier, more accessible? Um, you know, our turnout rates are very low. Are we fine with that? I don't think we should be. If we're going to have a government that's by and for and of the people, we need to increase turnout. That means making voting easier, opening up access, opening up registration, making that process easier. Um, we have a lot of work to do, but I think that that is the scary question of the day.